where I'd like to demonstrate how to upgrade your copy of GCAD Plus if you're using a Mac and you are using as a Windows emulator our favourite emulator crossover. So first step is to start crossover and then double click on the GCAD Plus icon so that we load the current version of GCAD Plus that's loaded on this computer. I'll then go to help and about GCAD Plus and as you can see here we're running version 9.7. Now the current version of GCAD Plus in December 2019 is version 10.0. So what we're going to do is to delete version 9.7, clean up the hard disk, download version 10 and install version 10 under crossover. Well my next step is to start crossover again and look for the uninstall. I want the uninstall program that's associated with GK Plus so I'll run that one. I might, might need to minimize that button at this stage and here's the uninstall program. Let's pick it and that cleans up the hard disk getting it ready for a new installation so we'll click finish. Well my next step is to start a browser and let's go to the download page of the GCAD Plus website and we'll pick in this instance the download the imperial copy of GCAD Plus as a zip file. So that's we're going to allow our download and the download as you see up here is now taking place. So that download will appear in Finder in just a moment. Well, the Mac is clever. It takes the zip file and automatically extracts the setup exe file. So I'll start crossover now. The first step is to uninstall the existing copy of GK Plus. So I'll double click on the uninstall routine. That should run the uninstaller and clean everything up. So I'll say uninstall. That's going to remove all the files that belong to the current version of GK Plus, which in this case was 9.7, I believe. So let's minimize Finder. And now we're, we're going to install a Windows application. And we're going to browse all applications, unlisted, continue. We're just following the instructions that are on our website. We're going to choose the installer file and that's the one we just downloaded and we'll use it and continue and install. So what that's going to do is to install in a bottle or a container in Crossover GK Plus. Now it runs the setup wizard so I'll agree and just accept all of the defaults and GK Plus will be installed into the bottle, the same bottle that we had before. And if we now say done, we can now run GK Plus. I'll go into demo mode and I'll have a quick look under help and about GK Plus, and there we are. We have version 10 of GCAD Plus running on our Mac.